everyone. This is going to be a quick video to show you how to download and install a recommended code editor for any of our web development courses. Uh, the one that we're going to look at is called Atom and you can go to their website by going to atom.io. Now by all means if you already have a code or text editor that you are really partial to, such as perhaps Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code, Brackets, Notepad++, Ultra Edit, all of those are perfectly fine to uh, do your coding for web development. That includes HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, and many other languages such as PHP, and uh, those are the ones that we're primarily going to be using in our program. So this is a pretty simple install. It's very quick. Um, this is Atom, which is made by GitHub, and GitHub is a document repository for all of your files and sites, and as you move further along in web development, you will likely have a GitHub account and start hosting your uh, code there so that you can keep track of any changes to your code. Uh, a lot of open source projects live there and it's just it's a great place for developers to be. Okay, so to, to download you just click this big red button which should automatically um, automatically download the the version that is best for whatever your computer is. This, this will work on uh, Macs or PCs. So go ahead and click that and you'll see in the browser it's starting to download here 163 megs again very quick then you're just going to open that up if you don't see it in your browser window you should but in the event that you don't you can always go to your downloads folder on a PC computer and this is again it's a very quick install it's got these real cool images as well. Okay, after the text editor is officially installed, it will open up into this window, and this is basically the, the software that you'll be working with. Um, from this main screen, you'll see this welcome guide, and it has a bunch of options on here. Open a project, install a package, choose a theme. And let's talk a little bit about what some of these things mean. So choose a theme is basically the theme of the software tool. So most of these um, code editors, text editors that are modern, um, cool text editors like this will allow you to kind of customize things to your own options. What what do you like? So this is automatically defaulted into a dark theme, but there are many other different options. I'm going to keep it at that one, but just so you know, there's lots of different um, themes that you can always change it in the event that you don't like the font or you want something to be a different color, things like that. Okay, um, the next thing that we really want to take a look at is installing packages. So similar to themes, which is more of the user interface for you um, in terms of the styling of it, you can install packages, which are like little mini programs that enable the software tool to do things that you might want it to, to do. So I'm going to show you how to install a few of these and give you a list of some of the recommendations that I have. Um, but to do that, you just come over here to Open Installer, and you can also get there from the package Packages section. The Packages section is where all of the packages that are currently installed will show up. And these are the, just the default packages that are already here. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to search for some packages that I would like you to install. So one of them is going to be Color Picker. You can just type these in and you'll see here a couple things. So when you're going through here, there's a couple different options, but you can kind of tell by that download number that this is the one that we want, right? It's got the most installs. Um, it can tell you some more information about it if you really want 
to learn about it. There you go. So it gives you a little bit more information and some information about how to use this. And what we want to do is just click install. Some of these are very quick and the cool thing is you don't have to you know close the, the software tool and open it back up they automatically install. So this will continue to work and there there we have it. Um, there's a few settings. I'm just going to leave everything right now in default mode here. Okay so if I want to do another that's the color picker. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is Adam Beautify not spelling that correctly and let's take a look here yes that one has three million and go ahead and install that other things that I want to do um, a couple other packages I want to install the file icons so I can keep I can keep looking for these while this is installing file icons. Yep, that's the one we want. And this basically just makes it so um, you have a little icon for the different types of file formats that you're working with. Makes it a little more visually uh, organized. And I want to get a linter. Okay, uh, if you're not familiar with what a linter is, a linter is kind of like a debugger. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a linter okay we're gonna get this one but what we need to do is we need to go out and find the official linters for the different things that we want it to debug so we want to have like a linter for CSS and a linter for JavaScript okay I'm gonna ins it needs to install a dependency so I'm gonna click yes and we're gonna let that work and then I want to get my linter CSS lint. You'll thank me for these at some point. It's kind of a pain to go ahead and install everything. I'm going to go ahead and do the CS lint. And I'm going to get JSCS. Get that one in there. That's for JavaScript. And again, these things will kind of highlight when you have an error in your code. And if you happen to be in PHP, you can also add the PHP linter to that. Okay, so those are the things that we're going to be adding to the packages. And as we go on, I might suggest that you add another one. Uh, but these ones are going to be our base packages that we're going to we're going to have in here. Now again, we installed all of those, and you can see here in packages. Now you will see some of them come up here. Let's see. Do I see any of them? Here we go. There's the Atom Beautify. So they might still just be be adding to it and not all of them will necessarily come up it depends some of them will just automatically um, work so that the beautify basically will get your code to be tabbed and indented nicely and that's something nice to have at the end okay so you can see here we can close all these windows uh, there's lots of different options here now if you want to start working with some code you can just go up here file new file and you can start typing away so if you were going to do a new HTML you just start typing away and going from there etc now you'll note that that I these things are not cl automatically closing my tags but again there's probably a package for that if you want to do something and you will also notice that if I leave something out you see that little red thing that's underlining okay so the cool thing about this is we need to first tell it what type of file this is so if you notice in the bottom right hand corner it says plain text 
and we can uh, we can automatically select this to be like HTML and then you'll notice that things are starting to to uh, highlight or we can just automatically save this as an HTML so we can do save as I'm just gonna throw it on my desktop for now and say index.html and and then I can keep keep working from here so the cool thing now that it knows we're doing HTML is it will give you these little hints at the as you're typing so you could technically let's say I want to put in a header I can start typing that and then I can use my arrows to select the one that I want so it could save you some work here and it's also good for syntax if I want to do like an image and I'm not really too sure what it is that the the actual uh, property is for that tag I can as soon as I press uh, the spacebar it will give me the option so if I'm like oh that's what I need source I can select source and things like that okay all right so this is Adam and I would recommend that you use this unless you have a favorite text code editor of your own um, you can use this in any of the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or PHP classes to write your code in. Thanks. Bye.